Coming up now, it's time for the gold medal match in the Recurve Women's Team event. The range extended to 70 meters for Recurve Sunday. Let's take a look at how the two teams got through to this gold medal match. Italy coming through the top of the order with a confident 6-0 victory over India. And they then took out Chinese Taipei 5-1. Great performance from them. But the Germans also shooting so well, beating Japan and then Korea for the very first time. Germany beat Korea to make it into this gold medal match. The Germans delighted to be welcoming their athletes out here. Let's go down to the range to welcome both Germany and Italy out to the field of play here in Berlin. Well, Crystal, we can already hear the crowd getting very excited as we welcome Lisa Unruh, Elena Richter and Michelle Cotton out onto their shooting line. Yes, we can. I think the advantage here has to go to Germany. They have the home crowd. They're definitely the more experienced team. They've shot together for a while now, and I really expect to see them coming out shooting 10th right from the start. Well, fourth man, or woman, I should say, on the team. The crowd getting right behind them. Michelle's had a great last month on the circuit. She's really come into her own and been shooting really well. Well, they're not just going to hand the gold medal to the Germans. Here come Italy. Elena Tonetta, Chiara Rebiati, and Tanya Giacchieri. The line up here. We see they do have a left-handed archer on their team, which can affect the order you choose to shoot in because how you're coming on and off the line. Oh, the Suns decided to pop its head out for this gold medal match. Just to develop on that, that, that idea, the left and right handers, what, what exactly do you mean by the order? So the foot, the foot placement coming on and off the line becomes very important because that's what the judges are looking for, foot faults, if you cross the line ahead of your teammate coming off the line. So a left-handed archer is going to want to come off in a different direction than a right-handed archer. Well, Natalia Valieva there, the... So that's uh, Natasha puts over. She, she will be looking uh, to create the order for the Germans. And it is the Germans who will shoot first on target two on the right-hand side. This for the gold medal in the recurve women's team event here in Berlin. Oh, what did I say? <laughs> what did you say? They're going to start shooting tens right from the start. You hit the nail on the head there, Crystal. Can it crop and follow a teammate into the middle? So a little bit of grimace on her face as she let go. I think it was just not a clean release on her part. All is good. Auf Lisa. Many opportunity for Italy already. Tiro 
So 2-9, solid start with Germany's eights. Tono braccio davanti. Tiro veloce. Seven eight nine it looks like uh, they're all square on points when there was an opportunity there. So let's see if Elena can put another arrow with her first arrow. Give her team a good start again. Oh. Solid nine. Another nice, so she's still on the left side, so I'm guessing she's going to make a couple of side adjustments here. Try to bring that back in. It's a little group. uncharacteristic from Lisa. They're two eights for Unruh. Braccio forte davanti. Tiro veloce. Forza. So again, Italy has a chance to capitalize here. Brava. Nova oh, ore sette. Nova ore sette. If they can keep their arrows in the yellow, they will take the set. It'll be two to zero. There's two in the yellow. So opportunity here. An eight will level the points and they'll share the set points. Anything better, and Italy will go 2 nil up. And it's an eight, so we're all square. One one just like the bronze medal match. We open with a with a tie between Italy and Germany. KG shaky to start things off. Some great arrows, but then those eights being thrown in from both teams. Yeah, I mean seventy meters is a long way. A lot can happen. Just a small change. Non è che dovete fare, oddio, devo fare meglio, lunga, lunga, lunga. No. QB quanto basta? Lì. D'accordo? Bravissima. Qua c'è l'acqua. Natalia Valieva there, the uh, coach for the Italian team. Vocal throughout that entire set. Uh, yeah, definitely. You hear her really talking the girls through this, giving them reassurance. Well, we said lots of good arrows, and there was a 7-8 line there for the Italians. They couldn't capitalize on the opportunity that was presented to them by Germany. It's all square in the gold medal match and all to play for still. You hear the crowd getting into it. They're really cheering on that, this German team. Well, the Germans will shoot first again. I'm wondering who is going to dial into the center first. Fancy whoever starts hitting the middle of the target could well run away with this. So an eight. So she opened with an X. Then shot a nine and now follows it up with an eight. So she's working her way away from the middle. And you can hear the German coach talking to Lisa. Eight. Ah. Well, that's all going a bit third. right. Yeah, and that's her third eight of the match. I'm, again, I'm very surprised. 
E tiro veloce. Chance presented again to Italy. Mette il mirino, vai verso il mirino. Tiro continuo. Molto bene. Well, a seven there. Tania. Yeah, cherry. Ok. Forza, Tonna. Dritta. Tiro veloce. A solid nine followed up by your teammate. So right now they do have a one point lead. Halfway stage of the second set, we switch back to target two and to Germany. Seven. They're all right. They're all going right. Does there need to be some adjustment here? Yeah, I'm not sure what's what's going on. If the wind's impacting them, if it's the way the sun is moving behind the cloud, in and out of the clouds, or what. But yeah, they're definitely moving higher and more right each arrow. Well, Croppen making whatever adjustment she did and pulls over to the left. And this is the point where frustration can start to set in. If you feel like your shots are good and you're executing well, but you can't seem to find that dialed in middle. The best shot so far from Lisa Unruh. A determined look on her face. But a massive opportunity here for Italy. A maximum will give them 56 points and put them two points up. Good nine. She'll be happy with that. Oh. Mark is an eight on the scorecard. I fancy that will go. Well, there you go. Already been upgraded. Gia Cherry fixes that seven with a ten. So just a five here will win them this set. A four will make it all square. So. And it's a 10. Good shooting from Italy. They take the set points in the second set and go 3-1 up. Gia Cherry shooting a 7 with her first arrow, correcting that to a 10 with her second. And Italy looking very strong indeed here in Germany against the Germans. Yeah, so the big question here is, can Germany respond in this third end, or is, is Italy going to be able to walk away with this? Because again, team round, you just need five set points to win this match. Yeah, an interesting set again. Cherry shooting a seven with her first arrow. The response from Germany well, wasn't what they wanted. They also shot a seven. But Italy finishing strongly. Gia Cherry herself shooting a 10. And then it's Unruh who finishes things off. Unruh, Unruh sort of anchoring the, the German teams. She's not been on her best form at the moment, has she? No, it seems like she's a little off. I'm not sure what's going on. She looks very solid up there. If you look at her, her shot is very strong and you see her very stable anchoring this team. And on the other side, Tanetta looking very strong indeed for the Italians in third, but being supported by her two teammates, Ray Beati and Gia Cherry. So we see the, the German team here, very focused, looks on their faces. Again, I think they might be a little, just a little confused, wondering what they need to do to put these arrows in the middle. Well, the wind definitely changed from set one to set two, a bit blustery in the first set, then almost died off completely. We see the, s the sun has gone back behind a cloud. That's going to change your impact downrange. Another seven. <laughs> so she was right on her first arrow, left on her second arrow. See if she can find the middle here. Closer. Yep, certainly better. 
Lisa. Mach dir groß. Great view of how strong Lisa is. Just nice and stable here. Nice. Nice. So Italy's not capitalizing completely yet on some of those mistakes by the German team. That's a 10. It's a good shot there. Oh, Tanetta's been so strong here for the Italian team. Well, if Germany ever needed a big score, it's right now. And they're capable of it. There's a 10. Big cheer from the crowd, the biggest one so far. finish to this second half of the set. Eight. Just dropping down into the eight. But a 53, a bit of a marker. You have to fancy Italy though. They shoot a perfect 30 here. They'll get 58 points and they'll take the gold here in Berlin. So two nines. They have a good group down there. Just an eight for the gold medal here in Germany against the Germans. Tanetta has shot so well. Can she finish this one off? And she shoots a nine as well. 55 out of 60 is enough. Italy take the gold 5-1 against Germany. Hugs all round from Natalia Valieva, the coach for the Italians. They were all very good. Ray Beati and Gia Cherry played their part, but Tineta for me was the star player on the Italian squad. Yeah, really the difference in that match was that second end. Italy was able to dial themselves in much quicker after that first little bit of rough start for both teams. Well, mutual respect between the teams, warm hugs and congratulations from the Germans. They have taken the silver. There is confirmation that Italy are the gold medalists here in Berlin in the recurve women's team event. But good respectful applause from the German crowd. The Italians dialed in first, and then they stayed in the middle. It wasn't the highest scoring of matches, but Italy finished off with a 55 to claim the gold over Germany. Chiefs. 
know, it's a shaky start for both teams, sharing the set points in the first set. And it's these eights, and Unruh, as you put it, Crystal, uncharacteristically off her game. The seven from Germany. Again, finding the outside red ring and the response from the Italians with two tens to Netta really played her part for the Italian team here, anchoring them through. Set three wasn't the start that the Germans wanted. A seven and Unruh hitting an eight and then the Italians come back. They needed just nines to finish things off. Ray Beati, Giacchieri and Tanetta deserving winners of the gold medal here in Berlin.